Okay, this guide shows you how to back up your precious pictures using Picasa 2. First of all, you need to open Picasa 2. As you can see, I've already got it open on the screen. Then click Tools. Then click Backup Pictures. Okay, as you can see on the left-hand side of the screen under Folders, um, is a list of your folders that um, can be backed up. So uh, if we want to back up a particular folder or a particular folders, we can click on the, the box beside it to put a tick mark in the box beside the folder we wish to back up. Alternatively, if we want to select all of the folders that are listed, then uh, we can click the Select All button, which will select all of the folders. I'm just going to select a few to try and speed up the process. So uh, if I select Household Photos and Fox. OK then. Now this list here is meant to be a list of folders that uh, have not been backed up as of yet from Picasa. Picasa is supposed to keep an eye on uh, all of the photos that have been backed up previously. And the next time you go to make a backup, it shouldn't ask you to uh, to you to back up those photos again. Um, in effect, it's what's called an incremental backup, which, uh, like I say, basically means that it'll only back up the files that haven't been backed up before. <clears throat> now, I have known some versions of Picasa not to handle this correctly, and um, often it can uh, list all files to be backed up again so this is where the uh, the option to individually select folders to be backed up comes in handy if it's listing all of your files that have been backed up before you can manually go through and select those so like I say I've ticked house folders and Fox they're the two folders that I wish to back up so the next thing I do is click burn this will now prepare the uh, the CD for uh, for burning. Um, if you haven't got a CD in the drive at this moment in time, then uh, it will come up and it will ask you to put a CD in there. But um, I've already got a CD in there, so it's now preparing to uh, write to the CD. This process can take a considerable amount of time, obviously depending on how many photos you have to back up. Um, depends on how long. You know, the, the process will take. Um, in terms of media, I would recommend using either CD minus R or DVD minus R or DVD plus R. Um, I would recommend avoid using uh, CD minus RW or DVD plus or minus RW. Um, basically for the simple reason that uh, anything ending in RW basically means that uh, the uh, the media can be overwritten. So um, if you're not too familiar with backing up, then um, it's best to stick with the um, the minus R's or the plus R's because uh, those discs tend to uh, they don't allow you to uh, to overwrite files on them once they once the photos have been stored on there then uh, they're there for life anyway right the backup has uh, has completed it gives us the option to, of either ejecting the CD or showing the CD if we click on the show button this will show us the uh, the menu that we'll get if we ever have to insert this disk and as you can see it actually tells us that um, we can restore the files in the their original locations or we can select a different folder by clicking on this folder now obviously at the moment we've got no reason to want to restore our files from Picasso because hopefully our files are still intact on the uh, on the machine so we can click cancel now okay then so moving on if we want to do a um, 
uh, say we come to do our second backup so we've added a few more photos to the uh, the collection and we want to uh, to create another backup which is, is worth doing on a regular basis um, we need to use a fresh disk every time we do a backup whether it be a DVD or a CD once the uh, the system has backed up to disk um, unfortunately it closes it which means that you can no longer back up extra files to uh, to that disk but obviously with CD and DVD media being uh, fairly cheap nowadays um, it's not too much of a problem obviously it's a small price to pay for you know your uh, your precious photos okay so as, as I said for the purpose of this this demonstration we're going to imagine that we've we've gone a few months down the line now and we want to back up our photos again or the photos that um, have not been backed up before so we do the same again we click on tools and then back up pictures okay and as you can see from the list there um, we've got a list ag again of our photos and hopefully they're the photos that we've uh, we've never backed up before so uh, I seem to recall that the photos we backed up before were called house and um, I can't remember what the second one was called but I know there was one called house anyway uh, that's obviously not showing there because we've already backed it up before like I say this uh, this step um, sometimes Picasso can fail and it can actually uh, list everything on the uh, on the screen so um, if that's the case then you can obviously here manually select the uh, the photos so right okay what I'm gonna do this time is uh, I'm gonna select a folder called cats okay exactly the same way left click the, uh, the the folder beside it to put a tick in it or I'll say if we want to back up everything then uh, we can click the select all button just down in uh, in the number two section there but for the purpose of this demo I'm just going to select cats there you go okay and then what we do is we just click the uh, the burn button and that's it it will now ask you for a CD, a blank CD or a DVD if you haven't already got one in the drive. Um, if you have, then uh, like myself, that will start writing the, uh, the disk. Like I say, this process can take a varied amount of time. So uh, please don't panic if, it's, if it appears to stop or it takes an, ex uh, an extraordinary amount of time. Um, it can vary depending on how many photos that you're actually trying to back up I mean here for the purpose of this demonstration I'm only backing up a very very small number of photos um, you may well be backing up you know thousands I've, I'm backing up 54 photographs here you could be backing up hundreds maybe thousands so therefore it could take a considerable amount of extra time so there we have it our files are now backed up for the uh, second time so um, all we need to do now is click on the eject button to eject the disk and uh, we'd now store our CDs in a safe place out of direct sunlight obviously you can label the disks with a special CD or DVD pen um, and like I say keep them in a safe place in case they're needed in future to restore your pictures.